I'm uh, tremendously excited to be waiting here for Vladimir, the head of uh, Alpha Bank, to, to come to be interviewed. I'm really interested in asking him about uh, some of Alpha Bank's really leading innovations, like the Fidgeter program and their acclaimed mobile app. So I think I'll be asking about all of these things in just a few minutes. I've been waiting for this interview for a few days now and I've been preparing questions to ask to Vladimir. I'm sure it's going to be a really uh, intense and stimulating experience uh, as we really get to the bottom of what has made Alpha Bank such a success for the last couple of years. Good afternoon. I'm here today with a man who's been referred to by the Russian Federation of Managers as the country's top CEO and by the trade publication Banky.ru as the banker of the year. I'm here today with Vladimir Verkhashinsky, the head of Alpha Bank, the largest private bank in Russia. Over the last three years, Vladimir and his team at Alpha Bank have received a number of prizes, ranging from work with high-value clients to small and medium businesses. They've been recognized with accolades from publications like Euromoney, The Banker, and Global Finance. Vladimir, looking at you, I hope uh, you won't mind if I say that you don't necessarily look like the stereotypical banker with the monocle in the eye and the waistcoat on the chest. No, not at all. So I wonder if perhaps you could tell me how you came to be here in this position and, well, win these kind of accolades, I suppose. Thank you, Felix. Uh, I take all my personal rewards very humbly and uh, I much more believe in team result than in personal recognition. Uh, all rewards Alpha Bank won, I personally won, is a result of work of all our team, starting from shareholders who believe in us, who support in us, who strategically lead us, to top management team, to product owners, developers, and even to guys who serve our clients in branches and in call center. Uh, and my job as a CEO is very simple, in, in a sense. I must find as many talented people as possible and make sure they realize maximum of their potential, uh, create a culture of performance, drive, and meritocracy. And this is, this is a culture of Alpha Bank. Mm -hmm. And I suppose all of that, almost notwithstanding, the single biggest challenge of this last year has, I think for any business, been COVID, been the, this, this global pandemic. And I, I wonder if we could start by, well, you telling me how has Alpha Bank overcome? How have they adapted to the pressure? I'm, I'm intrigued by this. I personally feel satisfaction how we went through this corona crisis. And uh, our shareholders, they always say that Alpha Bank comes out of every crisis bigger and stronger than before, and this crisis was not exception. Uh, what I've noticed that in the, in the modern world where everything is digitized and changing so fast, speed and agility become much more important than planning and uh, scenarios and strategic scenarios, etc. So those who are fast and flexible will win over those who thought they can plan. Uh, for example, even in Alpha Bank, uh, we had this BCP, Business Continuity Plan. I assume every bank has it. Well, in March and April last year, we very fast realized that this plan is nothing. It, it just doesn't work in this very unexpected circumstances. And we had to work fast and think fast and create all the things in the, in the very fast and creative manner. So this flexibility and speed of Alpha Bank, unlike in state-owned bank and large old-fashioned organization, allowed us to move uh, faster and show, I must say, good results. Of course, in March, April, and even May, it was scary and it was a, a very emotional period. But we went through very well, and uh, I'm very thankful to our team who stand up and uh, work every day, day by day. We didn't close branches, we serve customers, uh, uh, we cut costs, but we didn't cut people. And uh, my team sacrificed their bonuses, but we didn't sacrifice, you know, we didn't fire, uh, fire personnel. We, moved, we made some very creative. Uh, product moves, uh, some smart pricing things, and uh, as a result, it was a very good uh, year for Alpha Bank. We again became bigger and stronger, like in every other crisis before.
Mm -hmm. And considering kind of Alpha Bank as a retail bank, how has this impacted on actual customer service, do you think? How have the, I suppose, the strictures imposed by the pandemic changed the, the customer experience in Alpha Bank? I can, I can say we, we were lucky, in a sense. Well, not lucky, but uh, we worked hard before to digitize our client experience. And because of this, most of our customers were very familiar with digital technologies. 85% of uh, my customer base, even before COVID, uh, used regularly our mobile app or any, any other digital ch channels. 85% of customers native with our digital channels. Plus, during COVID, as I said, we didn't close branches. Some of our competitors did. We didn't do. Uh, we extended delivery of credit cards to 900 cities all over Russia. Russia is a big country. Um, now our mortgage process is fully digital without the need to go anywhere. And uh, I think that COVID in Alpha Bank, well, in, in banking in general, speed it up, and everybody says this, right? Speed it up the process of uh, pushing uh, routine services uh, out of our daily work and leaving only human touch and the more important questions uh, from customer size for, like, for, for in-person interaction. Mm -hmm. Do you think there are some takeaways from the pandemic and how Alpha Bank has responded that will stay with the business for good in future? You know, I, I'm aware that the company has to some extent shifted staffing outside Moscow into the sort of Russian hinterland and is employing people there. I wonder, do you see these things going forward in future now? Yeah, 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 I think so, I think so. Uh, well, for the last three years, our customer, customer base uh, doubled, both in retail and in SME. Mm -hmm. uh, we grow fast, and at the same time, our branches, number of branches, stay the same. Uh, which means we increase the productivity of each, of each branch uh, two times, twice, right? And this will stay with us, and we will continue inc improving productivity. Uh, same with the workforce, as you said. Everybody was shocked, and I was personally shocked that in one month, 70-80% of our personnel uh, could move to work uh, remotely. And right now, 30-40% of uh, personnel work remotely. We created an open and free uh, atmosphere. Those who feel they can come to work, they come to work. Who want to come, they come. Who, who doesn't feel so and stay at home, they stay at home. We shifted uh, hiring online, teaching online, firing online. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that allowed us to move to distant cities. For example, I personally came from a small town uh, in Kaluga region. Mm -hmm. I doubt our viewers have ever heard about uh, Tarusa, my hometown. Or even perhaps Kaluga region. Or even Kaluga <laughs> region, yes. Uh, but recently, for the, for the last half a year, we, fi we fired three people from uh, my hometown, mm -hmm. and without them, coming to Moscow, they can work from the town, be close to their parents, uh, to their families, and get access to career opportunities such as uh, Alpha Bank. So there are not only minuses in this crisis, uh, there are also some positive changes. Or, let's put it this way, we were forced as a business community, as banking community, as Alpha Bank, to make some positive changes that will stay with us and last, uh, last for, for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because you spoke a little bit about growth there and I'm, I'm intrigued because it's very easy for, say, a fintech startup to talk about rapid fire growth. But when we're talking about the largest, as I understand, private bank in Russia, it is much harder to identify future bases of growth. I mean, could you perhaps talk a little bit about where you see Alpha Bank's future growth coming from and what the competitors are for those markets? As I said, we've been growing fast. We doubled our size. Uh, for three years, uh, and uh, uh, we continue doing this like, month by month, by month uh, year after year. And uh, Alpha Bank this year tur turned 30 years old. We're as old as more than Russia, and uh, uh, it's hard to believe that such, such an established, let's put it this way, organization can be so dynamic and so modern as Alpha Bank. Mm, but in a sense, you know, it's been with us for 30 years, the, the culture of Alpha Bank, we call it Alpha DNA. The first in Russia mobile app, Alpha Bank. Uh, the first in Russia internet banking for uh, legal entities introduced by Alpha Bank. A lot of innovations were brought to Russian market by Alpha Bank, and we keep doing so. And uh, so far, 
We are a big bank, but still our market share is between 5 to 10 percent, depending which aspect you measure. And uh, we plan to grow and we plan to continue growing and uh, we succeed in it. And digital technologies change the, the way customers shift banks and organizations. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, to acquire a large customer base, you needed to acquire another bank because switching costs were too high. Right now, if your competitor does a poor job and you do a great job, you acquire customer base without acquiring that, that bank. You know, customers just come to you by, them, by, by, by themselves. As I said, in retail, last year, the year before last, plus one million customers uh, growth in, uh, in client base, plus one million customers. Where we were three and a half million customers several years ago, now it's seven and a half million customers. Mm -hmm. In SME, we are second in Russia in terms of number of uh, clients, we're like more than 600,000. Uh, SME customers and they keep coming and keep coming. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that tells me that we do not everything but most of things right. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about the specific innovations that uh, Alpha Bank has introduced. But first, I, I'd like to ask you why you think it's Alpha Bank in particular that has been first with these kind of um, digitization initiatives, so apps or the, the digital branch system, which we'll get onto in a second. I wonder why. Is there something in the ethos of the company that marks it out? That's for sure. When I first came to Alpha Bank, I was shocked. Uh, throughout my career, I almost never felt you know, the culture on a physical level. And uh, this is what everybody says when they enter Alpha Bank. They, we call it Alpha DNA. But you almost can feel this culture and uh, uh, the strife that our shareholders you know, established 30 years ago. In Alpha Bank, we're saying that we are an organization for free and smart people. And uh, when free and smart people work, create, work hard, uh, all this innovation happens. Uh, we have a flat structure and we keep flattening it, flattening very fast uh, decision-making processes and very business-driven. If there is a project, one idea that brings value, you know, teams will get resources, they will get approval, and they will move fast. And uh, well, doing your job day after day, week by week, month by month, year by year, trying to be the best, I think uh, brings results. It's just if we don't stop, if we keep pushing our limits, uh, we keep bringing just best-in-class results. Mm -hmm. this, this is that simple. And so to speak more specifically on one of these uh, concrete innovations that you've introduced, uh, there's a new program that's been rolled out, as I understand, throughout Alpha Bank, the digital branches, which yes. is to say, uh, for an English-speaking audience, physical plus digital. Yes. Could you perhaps talk a little bit about the conception, where it came from, and, and where you hope it will go in future? Well, this concept came up in a very simple way. Uh, at one of the supervisory boards, we were discussing, do we need branches or, or not? And uh, we came to a conclusion that for the next three, five, seven years, uh, we cannot get rid of branches. Because every month, almost more than one billion, a million people enter our branches. It's the size of a huge city, right? Uh, and then we said, OK, if we keep branches, what kind of format of the branches will be there? The same format? or something new. And then we realized that the digital technologies just transform the, the way branches can work, uh, not only the way mobile apps or uh, internet banks can work. And uh, we came up with this concept of a branch of the next generation. As you said, we called it digital branch, physical plus digital. And it's a, the idea is a perfect combination of physical experience and digital experience, physical, human, touch and communication and fast and efficient digital technologies. And uh, I'm a big believer of this concept in general, not only for banking. Booking.com. You know, you can have a perfect digital booking experience, but if you come to a physical hotel and it's, well, a poor quality, then this experience in general doesn't work. Or Airbnb or, or Uber. Of course, perfect app, stars, selecting drivers, cars, etc. But when a physical car, a physical driver, bring you not, <laughs> not an optimal way, you know, and your physical experience is not perfect, then the whole experience doesn't work. So this concept of physical and digital experiences melting and digital experience, we took it as a 
as a main concept for our next generation branches. And uh, I'm very happy with the results. I, I, I don't know, have you, have you had a chance to visit our, one of our digital branches? I'm afraid I personally haven't, no. I recommend to, to every colleagues, just, you know, just try and it, it's worth uh, seeing. Uh, it's a completely different experience. Of course, it's, it's a building, right, with mm -hmm. door and windows. But apart from this, it's very different. And we took our inspiration from uh, Apple stores and from very good restaurants uh, here in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Everything is digital. Everything is paperless. Uh, uh, when our customers enter the branch, biometric system recognizes them, uh, welcomes them, distributes them among our uh, employees. Uh, all the operations can be e-signed without a physical signature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's, it's just a completely new experience, modern digital experience and physical channel. So I suppose as a, as a proud millennial, I can certainly say that I appreciate the Alpha Bank focus on paperless technology. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about that. Well, paperless technology it's, uh, is an essential part of uh, next generation branch. Uh, as I said, if customer wants a paper, of course they will get a paper. But uh, if not, everything is e-signed. Mm -hmm. And uh, this e-signature goes beyond branches. We use it all over the bank and we uh, digitize process by process, eliminating paper out of uh, our work. And uh, we've recently calculated that more than 10 hectares of forest we save a year by introducing this technology. <laughs> and our team is being creative. It's important for, for our team, especially for a uh, younger part of the team. And they come, keep coming with new ideas how to add like, not only economic impact, but also social and uh, ecological impact. And uh, I'll, I'll show you. This is, this is a pen. This corporate pen of Alpha pen. Bank. Yes, it's a pen. It's not a pen, actually. It's set here, you see? It says, like, this is a card. <laughs> and we use, uh, uh, we use old uh, credit cards, plastic cards, and we melt them and recycle them and create these pens. Uh, not only from Alpha Bank uh, cards, actually, but if, if you know some banks who don't need cards, let me know. <laughs> and we will issue, oh, well. we'll issue Alpha Bank's pen <laughs> based on their, their credit cards. And uh, as I said, team comes up with ideas like this or papers technology constantly, and we like implementing them. Mm -hmm. I suppose Russia being such a, a competitive banking market, even large state-owned banks have been quite uh, adept in following kind of innovate, innovative practices, yeah. possibly more so than foreign banks. I'm intrigued, do you, I mean, firstly think that your competitors will go down this sort of digital route of their own? And does that worry you or, or, or are you fairly unhappy about it? We are not afraid of competition. I am, and all of my team, Actually, we're fond of uh, competition. Uh, and uh, in a modern world, as I said, speed and agility. You know, there are no secrets in, in the modern world. And uh, our competitors already started copying our uh, smart branch or digital branch approach. Well, uh, one of the largest banking groups in the world recently announced their concept. They call it Hugital. Uh, <laughs> one and a half year uh, after our digital, whatever, it's a combination of human touch and digital technologies, I guess. Uh, we're not afraid to show, and uh, I know that uh, top managers from our competitors come to our digital branches and they uh, look at what they can copy. And we are for competition. We actually run uh, open demos. Uh, telling about what's going on in Alpha Bank. Just recently, like two weeks ago, we had a huge Alpha Digital Open. Uh, it's, uh, it's an online conference where we told not, to, uh, not only to our employees, but to, to the whole world what we've done, what we do. And uh, it was more than 250,000 viewers of Alpha Digital Open. I like playing the, you know, the game, the cards. There are two ways. One is like this. You know, Close to your chest. Close to your chest. Mm -hmm. And I play it like this. Here are my cards. <laughs> Try to win me. OK, lay them out on the table. Uh, and digital world just makes it kind of impossible to hide secrets. Mm -hmm. 
So it's again, it's a question of who's faster, who's smarter, who's more performance driven. Mm -hmm. Okay. So going back to, I suppose, an earlier innovation that we've discussed a little bit, we mentioned earlier that Alpha Bank was the first Russian bank, I understand, to bring out a mobile app. Yes. Um, and that mobile app remains to this day um, critically acclaimed, I suppose you could say. So as I understand, two years running, it's been named the top uh, banking app by uh, Mark's Web, which is a sort of a consumer uh, agency. Why do you think this has happened? Why have you managed to not only bring out the first app, but retain a certain competitive advantage? Well, there is some secret. As I said, there are no secrets, but there is some secret to, to this success. And uh, to my international colleagues uh, from Europe, from America, even from Asia, uh, it's hard to believe, guys, it's hard to believe how developed uh, Russian banking system in terms of digital technologies in general is. I can attest to uh, that as a, as a uh, from the UK. Number of smartphone payments where, where our clients, not Alpha Bank, but like Russian people pay with smartphones mm -hmm. is bigger than in China. I mean, absolute terms. Like number of payments people in Russia do using smartphones, not cards, is bigger than China and, and it's growing. And, uh, uh, Alpha Bank's mobile app, you just should see it, what it can do, how user-friendly and uh, attractive it is. And as I said, there is a secret to it for us being number one for many years in, in mobile app. Uh, and uh, right now the secret is to ask customers. We call it the concept, we, 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 we say that customers want to, to decide, customers want to contribute. Mm -hmm. People want to contribute. We all as humans, as individuals, we want to be important. We want to do something good. We want to do something big, right? And uh, social media and digital technologies make it po made it possible for customers to vote, to say, to speak up, and to contribute. And we use it. We use this feedback. Uh, for example, in developing mobile app, 50-something in-depth interviews, 17 uh, design sprints, 34 teamworks uh, assignments working together, studying what customers are saying. We collected more than 350,000 um, feedbacks on every feature we plan to establish, uh, to implement. Mm -hmm. And based on this, we decide what to do, what not to do. And you do that through social media? And we do it through social media, through some, through some complex uh, instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we're actually building a new um, discovery uh, a laboratory, let's put it this way, mm -hmm. discovery center. And it's going to be one of the most advanced, not only in Russia. And it will be full of digital technologies, allowing us to understand what customers want, what customers say, to absorb it and to implement it in our UX, UI, in the way our mobile app uh, develops. In a sense, it's not us. It's not definitely top management of Alpha Bank deciding mm -hmm. how our digital channels or products will look like. Mm -hmm. Three months before our new mobile app was released, we were kind of informed by, by teams of guys who developed it. And they came to us and said, hey, board members, this is how our mobile app, next generation mobile app, will look like. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's them who decided, these young guys, uh, we empower them to decide. And it's our customers who give information to these teams and young guys to decide. So this is how we work and this is our secret. Mm -hmm. Empower not 10 top managers, but hundreds of mm -hmm. teams and managers as micro CEOs all over the company. Empower them to make decisions, mm -hmm. to allocate resources and uh, use client feedback and allow customers to, to contribute to, mm -hmm. to the product we do. Understood. So this dialogue seems to me, it implies probably quite a, uh, a strong relationship with customers. I wonder if you could tell me what uh, an, an Alpha Bank client looks like. What is their profile perhaps compared to other rival banks in Russia? Well, when we, when we have seven and a half million customers in retail... It's hard to make generalizations. It's, it's hard to make generalizations. We have very affluent customers, uh, ultra high net worth individuals. Mm -hmm. We have young guys banking with us. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we work in bigger cities and in smaller cities. Uh, seven and a half million. We work with everybody. We're a big, big bank. And this is, this is, uh, th this adds to complexity because we need to be 
attractive for all the category for all the categories of our customers. Mm -hmm. Understood. So I suppose to, to round things off, we can return perhaps to the internal culture of the organization. And I, I noticed that quite recently, Alpha Bank was listed as one of the top five employers in Russia by Headhunter, which uh, is, I suppose, the premier recruiting platform in, in Russia. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued as to your thoughts about what, how this happened. Why, what does Alpha Bank do differently to get into that top five list you know, in, a, in, a, in a competitive cut, cutthroat market? Russian market is not only a very digitally advanced. Mm -hmm. It's also very competitive. There are five, seven players on the market mm -hmm. who are very, very well established, very modern and interesting and attractive mm -hmm. for for people to you know to work for, mm -hmm. not only for customers to you know to to be uh, to be clients of, and uh, we compete for talent the same way we compete for our customers. Mm -hmm. Here you can see the way our office space looks. It doesn't look like a like a bank, like a thirty-year-old. I can agree with that. Uh, yes, <laughs> it, it looks more like a hipster. A startup sort of a place. St right? Startup yeah. sort of a place. Uh, downstairs we have a gym. Mm -hmm. It's a big modern gym, and we have several gyms uh, in Moscow and other cities. Mm -hmm. uh, modern food court where Google uh, and Apple food providers provide food to our to our mm -hmm. team. We not only listen to our customers to develop products and services, we listen to our employees what they want. And we constantly ask them, what, 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 what are you guys uh, appreciating? It's not only money, you know, the money is important, but for younger generation, for creative generation, for digital generation, uh, company's culture, atmosphere, work environment is getting much more important, lifestyle. Uh, last year, in May, we allowed everybody to work remotely till the year end. Mm -hmm. This is how free uh, and open Alpha Bank is. And yeah, we work hard, we fight for talent, uh, and we succeed. Uh, I remember two years ago, we've been hiring 20, 30 uh, IT developers a month. Right now, we hire 100, 150 a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, most of the competition moves uh, moves into more skilled labor, mm -hmm. even uh, even in branch personnel. You know, less routine transactions, more client interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm happier we get this uh, reward, and uh, we work hard, and looks like it works out. And just to pick up on that, you do think digitization is the future of, of banking, retail, and, and 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 whatever else? I think so. I mm -hmm. think so. Of course. Mm -hmm. Well, digitalization is something that will allow us to grow in client database, mm -hmm. in business, yeah. without growing costs and staff, etc. Understood. Vladimir Verhashinsky, head of Alpha Bank, thank you. Felix, thank you very much.